after the HTV arrived at the International Space Station yesterday and uh, the crew had reached out and grabbed onto it with a robotic arm and attached it to the bottom of the Harmony node. The uh, crew took some time to downlink some onboard video that they took with one of the high definition cameras. Katie Coleman, Paulo Nespoli and Scott Kelly, all three of them are working inside the cupola, which is attached to the Tranquility node. I gave them an uh, almost 360-degree view of the surroundings of the International Space Station as they use that arm to reach out and grab on to this huge cargo craft. So we're going to take a look now at the video that the crew sent down after their activities yesterday here on NASA TV. If we're no calm and we have a loss of CMG attitude, we're going to look at the caution alarm. We're going to use the button on that page to do uh, auto attitude handover, a uh, control handover from the U.S. to the Russian segment, and we're going to enable that. We're going to verify that we see thrusters only for Russian mode. Elbow pitch, we're looking for 50 to 135, Palo. 50, 135, copy. Okay. And if we're uh, one of those two, then back away or retreat unless we're over the pin. For MSS safing, we're going to go to the free flyer capture cue cur cur card, we know that. And if the free drift timer is greater than, um, if, let's see if we can go. I think they mean if the free drift timer expires, then I'm going to back away, you're going to hold, and if hold's not available, you'll retreat. And if we don't like the lighting, I'm going to back away, and you're going to back away and hold after free drift. I'm going to back away if it's before free drift, and if it's after free drift, you're going to I'm going to back away and you're going to, you're going to hold. And just the sentence at the top here, after go for capture, if any failure occurs and we're over the pin, we're going to proceed and otherwise we're going to do these actions. Okay. And if we do retreat, we'll go to the approach and retreat monitoring right. procedure. The boxes here, right here. And then the first thing, this is something we've not looked at before, and our, we're looking for impulsive retreat. Versus go to the point. Station Houston on two with a request when you are complete with your capture briefing. And you got the by one. So I think looking at this, you guys, I think that we've read all the notes. I think we've briefed the two cue cards and we can tell them that we're ready for approach to the capture point. What do you think? Houston Station uh, for HTV and uh, crew ready for approach to capture point. We copy your ready, Paolo, thank you. And we'd like to request a block Bravo call down from the mast camera, if you would, please. Copy and work. Mast camera. 37. Okay, 37 is there. Houston Station, uh, the corridor from uh, 37 mast camera, wide stroke is within the crew board corridor limit, vehicle size is uh, matches the vehicle outline, wide strobe is about half length aft with respect to the stroke tracker, and uh, about uh, half diameter starboard with respect to the stroke tracker. Stroke tracker position, it's about, uh, it's very close to the crowboard corridor, slightly aft and slightly starboard. for the report and stand by for the resumption from 30 meters. So this camera's out of focus, that's why I can't see anything. What's this doing? Is it virus? 27, we can do everything, right? Yes, you can. Only 7 and 22, and we don't have it called up. No, the focus is focus, it's not virus, but okay. It's stable as a rock. Stable is good.
Looks like it's welded to the space station. Where is the bus? Where is this drug tracker? I don't even see it. Verify not saved. Verify not saved. Desecrate. Desecrate. Okay, brakes go off. Brakes coming off. So brakes off. Position off. Position off. Concur. Ender mode manual. Verify blue. Join lock, shoulder roll. Commanded. Verified. Concur. Posh, all dogs off. Commanded. I see all dogs off. Let's see. Tip Lee, command capture, auto fast limp. Coming up. Populating. Capture auto fast one. Verify speed fast. I see fast. Verify confirm or terminate. I see. And uh, trigger as the usual uh, caution. And confirm. Verify trigger hot icon is on. Tracking and I'm sending this guy, so we'll send, send this guy, guy the CCDB off and uh, inhibit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and move down. Go. So I'm moving and see. CCDB four. You heard that phone? Yes. Four is in there. Inhibit is going. Just a little I see inhibit. Very good. This is complete. Now you have a go to go continue tracking. Okay, so I'm tracked and now we're talking about just going in from five. Yes. And we're gonna send uh, free drift on the fly. Okay. Zoom when do you want me to zoom out? I'm just going to do it now. So okay, it's I'll done. Do it. Okay, thank you. I see, I see it's center. Alright, I'm going to arm this guy. Free drift. It's armed and ready. Okay. I'm going to give you my rate calls, two pins, yes. one pin, and I'm going to confirm. Okay. I am heading in. Oh. I'm increasing my rate a little bit. Yeah, HV is stable, so you have a, it's good, there's a good rate right okay. there. I will call it about four meters. Just a tiny bit of roll. Three and a half meters. To get some right now. Two and a half. Coming in with uh, free drift. Free drift. Okay. Free drift command issued. Free drift. Free drift is there. Where's it going? It's going good. It's going nowhere. You get get command. Three pins. Two pins, one pin, 
going in. Look at the envelope. Over the pin. And capture. Capture. Capture, capture. capture to latch. Smell. Tension is coming. Nothing slow. Wow, that's very slow. 2,000. 4,000. 5,000. Tension is 5,300. Position hold. Okay, V1 and MCCH. And Houston Station, it, HTD capture is complete. Stand Great job, you guys. Paolo, Katie, and Scott on the uh, morning's work. Uh, congratulations to all of you, and congratulations to the HTD flight control team. Great work today. Megan, we have Kuna Tori in our grasp. It demonstrates what we can do when humans and robots work together. We'll look forward to bringing HTV2 Kuna Tori aboard the International Space Station. Good job. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. We still got a long way ahead of us. Good work, Katie. <laughs> All right. Post cleanup, capture, enter mode, stand by, verify blue. I did stand by because I didn't want to talk without. Change load parameter. HTV, HTV maneuver, shoulder roll, hold. HTV maneuver, shoulder roll, hold. Yeah. Take a look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wrong, wrong way. Here's some more video that the crew sent down as well as they uh, took a look at the uh, hatch in between the Harmony node. They opened it up and then uh, began to uh, briefly look inside HTV. These hatches were opened yesterday at 2.47 p.m. Central Time, 3.47 p.m. Eastern Time. That was well ahead of schedule. They were not due to do it until uh, this morning at about 6.30. Uh, but they worked so diligently yesterday that uh, they were able to move the schedule of events uh, up quite significantly. And they got those hatches opened and uh, took a look inside the pressurized section of the HTV for the first time. As we've been talking about quite a bit over the last few days, as HTV headed toward the space station, there are several different sections on this cargo craft. There is that pressurized section that the crew will have access to, all the different supplies that are located in there. Uh, back behind that section that the crew does not have access to is the unpressurized section. There's a large exposed pallet located inside there that has uh, some large external parts for the station. That's going to be retrieved uh, next week. The station's arm is going to be used to pull that exposed pallet out of the middle of HTV, move it over toward the end of the Kibo laboratory, install it there temporarily, and then uh, they're going to use the robotics operations once again to withdraw those spare parts uh, from that exposed pallet, store them temporarily uh, near the Dexter robot that is made by Canada, and then they will put that exposed pallet back inside HTV for the remainder of its time up on board the station. So as you can see here, the crew are already beginning to uh, move some things out 